Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Here is uh, another DIY video. I mean, uh, how difficult can it get to service your own motorcycle? Like, kitna complex ho sakta hai? Maine kabhi kiya nahi hai. This is my 2018 Ninja 300. This is done about uh, roughly 30,000 kilometers now. And uh, this service I have to replace the oil. Mujhe oil filter change karna hai. Clutch cable jo hai, usko replace karna hai. Uh, coolant put off up karna hai. Aur ye sab maine kabhi kiya nahi hai, thik hai? और निंजा की सर्विस में फॉर दिस मोटरसाइकिल अलोन इतना अगर मुझे करवाना हो पेड सर्विस में एट दौसरा सर्विस सेंटर मुझे अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सात से आठ हज़ार रुपये खर्च होंगे इंक्लूडिंग द लेबर एंड इंजन ऑल एंड एवरीथिंग राइट तो मेरा प्लान ये है कि आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई इट डूइंग इट ऑन माई ओन मैंने पार्ट्स जो स्पेयर्स हैं देखिए ऑयल की सारी चीज़ें यहाँ पर रखी हुई है कूलेंट रखा हुआ है ऑयल फिटर मैं खरीद के ला चुका हूँ तो इसके बाद मैंने शोरूम से उठा लिया है ऑलरेडी सर्विस सेंटर से तो अगर ये सारा कुछ मैं घर में खुद से करता हूँ तो ऑलमोस्ट कितना खर्चा होता है हाउ मच कैन आई सी दैट्स अ फर्स्ट थिंग सेकंड थिंग इज दैट एम आई लर्निंग समथिंग बिकॉज सी वी आर राइडर्स वी गो टू डिफरेंट प्लेसेस हो सकता है कि आप कभी बहुत लंबी ट्रिप पे हो जहाँ पे आपको सर्विस सेंटर ना मिल रहा हो तो अगर आपको ये चीज़ें मिल जा रही है आपको इंजिन ऑयल मिल जा रहा है ऑयल फिल्टर छोड़िए तो क्या आप खुद से कर सकते हैं दैट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स ट्राई टू डू दैट ओके मोमेंट ऑफ टूथ द फर्स्ट थिंग यू नीड टू इज दिस इज द ड्रेन बोल्ट राइट दिस इज अवेंटीन एम एम which can and this is a 17 mm wrench not wrench yeah it's a spanner so pehle isko kholna hai aur fir yahan se oil leak hoga in fact mein oil nikalna start hoga to oil zameen pe na spill ho iske liye aap aisa kuch ek tray use kar sakte hain ye hardly kitne ka hai ye uh, 150 rupees ka hai kyunki mujhe isse uh, matlab basic quality ka mila nahi but agar aap chahe you can get it for like 40 50 rupees ek ye tray lekar ke aana hai aur ise kholna hai let's open this one थोड़ा सा हार्ड रहेगा तो जस्ट बी केयरफुल शुड द ऑयल शुड स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग एनी टाइम ऑन टू थ्री देर इट इज ओ माई गॉड तो काफी गंदा हो चुका है लेट मी शो इट यू ओके दिस हाउ Dirty it is. My God. <laughs> so to top up the coolant, we will require a funnel. Let's place it this way. It's not very straight, <coughs> and then gently pour the coolant in. will not fill it to the max uh let's fill it somewhere between the full and the lowest level so here it is this is the lowest level this is the full we fill it somewhere in between okay. so the reason i didn't fill it full is because i would want to flush out the old uh, coolant later on some other time that's a long lengthy process that's why i just top it up later on when i take it out then i'll refill it up to the top okay before we start uh, the process of refueling uh, the engine oil let's clean this up and first let's put the fix this drain plug and the drain washer back in place i'm not replacing it right now i have the replacement one as well but it's okay we can use it it's recommended that you replace it but it's fine Right. Once it is done, let's tighten it up. Make sure that you don't over tighten it; otherwise, you know, you may spoil the grooves inside, and because this is an engine compartment, uh, it may cause problems. Ah, there it is. Now we can open it up. Right. Now, time to change the oil. So the Ninja comes with a normal oil check window, which is over here. We can check the level. First, uh, let's open up the oil. So the oil that I'm using for my bike is this. This is the Gastrol Power. This is a fully synthetic oil. You can see here, full synthetic engine oil, 10W40. According to the owner's manual, it needs 2.2 liters. 
of engine oil. So we are done filling two liters of oil and uh, you can see through the window and actually the oil is coming up gradually. I mean it's filling up right. So I'll do one thing now. I'll fill another 200 ml, less than 200 ml and then I'll see if it comes up. And in case if you are wondering, how do we know? How do we know that we have 200 ml added or not? So, this is the box container. It's written in it. 250, 500, 750. This is one liter. Okay? One more important thing is that once you are done, right, the old oil, we do not know where to discard it, right? So, it's better that we put it back in the engine oil bottles, the empty bottles which we have now after the after using the new bottle of oil let's fill it back in these and then you can give it to uh, the local mechanics or whoever is there and they can take care of disposing it because they do this job almost day in and day out right so they would know where and how to dispose this now it's time to loop the chain so with the bike on a paradox stand start it up Put the bike in gear so that the chain starts rotating and then start spraying the loop. This is the motor chain loop. See the sound disappeared. So once the side is done, on the center it's done. Do a little bit on the side because it's actually catching rust. Sides, this side is done. Little bit on the interior, very gently. Make sure your hand is not touching the wheel, otherwise you'll end up injuring yourself. Look at this. Look at the amount of gunk on it. You know, if I just rub my finger. Damn. Look at this. How much filth is coming out of it. This is the air filter. This is the condition. So to clean it, I have taken this particular tray which I have filled with uh, regular tap water and I have mixed a little bit of dishwasher liquid, you know the dish cleaning liquid because apparently, I mean, if that can clean the dishes, the oil from the dishes, there's a lot of, <laughs> uh, hopefully it should clear up this gunk as well. This is really, really messy. For now, I'll clean it up. I'll see if I can get the stock of the foam parts anywhere in Bangalore, if I can get it, because I'm not a big fan of installing KNN and BMC air filters. So I would want to go with the stock itself. I probably will have to find this foam from high flow once i get it maybe i'll use it but until then i have to clean this up and yeah we have to utilize this so the way to take it out is just remove these clips one here and uh, one is here right so this way we remove it you can dump it in that remove this and dump there in the soap water and this is horrible let me soak it properly in this it's advisable not to twist and turn and crush this foam because that can apparently damage the foam it can you know uh, it can rip the foam that's the reason why we should not do that we should avoid uh, crushing it completely this way right it's a foam, you can actually do it, but it's avoidable. It's better not to do it. And so I'll let it soak in this for some time. I'll pour a little bit more water on it so that it soaks properly. There goes some water. And now it's all about cleaning this thing. Clean it with hands, which will apparently get dirty. But yeah, let's clean it up and then I will assemble it back and then we'll 
uh, put it back into the motorcycle, we'll fix it back. Now I wanted to change the clutch cable as well, but I could not because see, this thing, it has to be held up. I mean, uh, if the clutch is pulled, right, that's when it will go up a little bit and then you can actually uh, slide this thing out from here. But, but that uh, either needs two hands or we need a clamp so that when, uh, let me quickly see if I can show it to you. So when the clutch is pressed, see this will come up. When it comes up, that's where it, we have to hold it. Uh, and that's how we can take the wire out, but that's a two person's job. I mean, if one person can actually lift it and hold it and then I can slide it out or if I had a clamp, I would, you know, fix it this way, an L clamp kind of a thing. Not L clamp, a C clamp kind of a thing, so that, you know, this could slide out easily. But now, as of now, the way it is, uh, I cannot take it out. So, the clutch wire, the routing is from underneath the fuel tank. It goes from here, so the routing is fine. The only problem is uh, replacing it from here, which I'm not able to do. Maybe I'll, I'll look at it some other time. Because I realize that we don't really need to remove the entire side fairing to access the clutch wire or to remove the clutch wire. Because again, once it is removed from here, we can just slide it out and we can insert the new clutch wire from there, from the top, right from there and can channel it all the way from there, even without removing the fairing. So we'll do that part later. For now, uh, yeah, let's clean up this air filter box and then let's uh, put back everything. So, the service is done. Now, the lesson learned. Can we do it at home? Ghar pe kar sakte hain? Well, if you have the right set of tools and if you have somebody to help, that gets a lot more easier. You can definitely do it. अब देखिए जैसे मेरे पास जो एयर फिल्टर है और सॉरी जो ऑयल फिल्टर है उसको रिमूव करने का टूल नहीं था राइट सो आई कुड नॉट टेक इट आउट ऑयल फिल्टर आई कुड नॉट यूज इट सिमिलरली फॉर द क्लच केबल राइट सो दिस प्लेस एज आई शोड इट इन दीडियो राइट इट हैज टू बी हेल्ड अप टाइटली अपवर्ड्स कुछ क्लैम्प हो सी क्लैम्प जैसा दैट वुड होल्ड इट अदरवाइज यू हैव समबडी हु कैन होल्ड इट दैट मेक्स लाइफ नॉट मोर इजियर सो या बेसिक थिंग्स इफ यू हैव हेल्पिंग एंड दैट गेट्स इजियर बट देन Uh, can we do it at home? Yes, definitely. मैं next time कभी try करूँगा Most probably yes. अभी अपनी गाड़ी में मुझे समझ में आ गया कि exactly क्या tools चाहिए क्या नहीं चाहिए What all do we need for Ninja 300? So probably I'll see. I'll talk to Shine.com. If he agrees, then uh, next time we'll try on his bike. And because I have the oil filter ready, uh, the oil yeah we can get it from any anywhere. And the oil filter wrench that I'll be ordering it online or maybe I'll get it from somewhere. बट समझ में आएगी बेसिकली गलती कहाँ पर हो रही है वेयर अभी गोइंग रॉन्ग और क्या करने से जल्दी होगा गाड़ी काम राइट ये हाउ मच टाइम डज इट टेक टू यू नो चेंज ऑयल एंड ऑयल फिल्टर 15 20 मिनट्स मैक्सिमम जो टाइम आपको लगेगा दैट वुड बी फॉर ड्रेनिंग द ऑयल वो जो ऑयल ड्रेन होगा उसमें टाइम लगता है अदरवाइज टू री फिल इट एंड यू हैव द राइट सेट ऑफ टूल्स इट वुड नॉट टेक मोर देन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स लेट से हाफ एन आवर टू चेंज द ऑयल इन ऑयल फिल्टर एवरी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स थाउजेंड वट एवर इट्स इन योर ओनर्स मैन डू इट गाड़ी आपकी अच्छी चलेगी इट विल हैव अ लॉन्गर लाइफ एंड या दिस वे यू विल एटलीस्ट लर्न समथिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच आल सी दिस अगेन बाय